The service we provide in our community is just a place of, of respite. Uh, we really saw a huge attendance spike in 2020 because we're outside and people were sick of being you know, in their houses. So we provided a place for people to come and kind of they, they could be stress-free while being outside and taking in nature. And also it's beautiful out here. I mean, it's a lot, we have a lot of artists come out here and they'll, they'll sit and do drawings or paintings. We have a lot of photographers come out. So it's just, you know, it's a place you can, you can kind of choose your own journey when you come here. You can go tour all the gardens. We also have a children's garden with a lot of interactive things for kids to play with. So um, it just depends on, on the audience, but um, I just think we provide res a respite from the city because um, we're a little outside of Kansas City and also just it's a beautiful place to be. If I'm having like a bad day or something isn't going right, I can walk outside 20 minutes and be in a completely different place. My favorite spot to go is the Woodland and Stream Garden because it is all shaded and it has lots of streams and platforms and it's very zen. Um, but we have seen also with mental health, with physical health, we have quite a few people that come out here and they just walk, they'll walk the trails or they'll walk around, um, you know, just to see the trees and things like that. So I definitely think that we have the you know physical health thing and we're at we're trying to add a lot more mental health but we want to know that people can come out here and just sit and just kind of be and be in the moment and be present So there's actually about 800 species of plants found in prairies in Missouri alone. They're an incredibly um, diverse ecosystem with diversity values comparable to that of the Amazon rainforest. So here in the plains, we have our own version of just this um, prairie rainforest, we'll say. So it supports a lot of different insects and birds, and they're really this foundational ecosystem to the area we're in. And what it makes it such a neat part for our PAL is that we bring in an audience for so many different things, um, art, music, science, the plants, um, some of our architectural features. But when people are here, they're also getting um, exposure to this sense of place that we have that um, is really grounded in prairies here in our region. So it's a neat opportunity, it's something um, connecting with people on is, is pretty important to continue the preservation of prairies and encouraging people to grow the same flora in their backyard or in a container on their patio. Um, it can really help protect our biodiversity. We try and layer the plantings to where there's interest throughout the season, throughout the year. Um, so in the spring, we'll have lots of bulbs and the azaleas will be blooming. And then in the summer, we've get, we get the hydrangeas blooming and a lot of the trees will be blooming. Um, and then also into the fall, just keeping up that fall color. And so every time you come in here, there's different stuff coming up. There's a lot of grasses and uh, bamboo, just a lot of different things that are kind of layered in to give that year round effect, year round display up this way or go back around um, that view from here I don't know if we need to hit the top or this is one of the cultivars we have and it's called um, almost black uh, it has kind of a more of a reddish flower but so these grow like in an interesting manner they grow actually as a um, perennial herbaceous plants so they die all, right, all the way back to their rhizomes um, at the end of the season. And I could probably lift it out for you to actually see how it grows. So we actually just grow them in these pots and they just grow as um, rhizomes. So eventually they have to be repotted. They outgrow the pot. They're very vigorous plants. Um, I always love People always love coming out to the 
the aquatic pools and they seem to really enjoy it because they slow down a bit and just take pictures. So usually um, August and September, those are like the peak months that you want to come out to see the water lilies. So uh, this, the purple and the green here are dendrobium orchids from Asia. Uh, these are hybrids. Uh, then we've got uh, a couple of cattleyas here, this orange, orange one here. Uh, this is a hybrid. Uh, this one here is actually a species from South America, Brazil to be in fact. Uh, and then here's another species down here, Cattleya Eldorado. And uh, that's from South America. And we've got, which one of which is one of my favorites, is the uh, Lady Slippers. So this is a, a very old hybrid. Oh gosh, I've had a love of plants for a very long time. Um, you know, since I was a child, uh, I got it from my mother and, and my grandmother. And uh, I love being able to grow something and enjoy the fruits, if you will, of my labor. Um, and I'm also inter interested in uh, conservation and, and that's one thing that we do here uh, so having some of these individuals in the collection means that if ever they go extinct in, in the wild then there will be examples um, within within the plant world that you know we can still enjoy admire and uh, educate people from it's a great stress reliever <laughs> I think uh, and and it's really something to admire. 